What's up, people? Uh, Mike here, and this is uh, Chapter 14, uh, Gibraltar Bridge Part 1 for Wolfenstein The New Order on Uber Difficulty. Uh, so this this chapter can be challenging at points, but at the same time it can be pretty easy if you um, can find the best way to get through some areas uh, you can kinda stealth some areas in this chapter and then there's some areas where you pretty much just have to go guns blazing uh, one of the areas uh, is actually at the pretty much like the second half of this video is probably the biggest firefight in this chapter uh, so right there when you pick this is where you would get the uh, the upgrade for the assault rifle that gives you the rocket launcher the rocket launcher is uh, probably the second best thing to have next to the LKW for the the shotgunners and the the super soldiers since with the shotgunners it usually takes uh, like two or three rocket hits to kill them uh, maybe less depending on um, how good of a shot you are and everything but the blast radius is really effective against like a large group of enemies uh, you can usually with like a well placed rocket shot you can kill like three or four guys if they're grouped together close enough uh, it does make some some areas a little bit easier to deal with because of the splash damage um, and fuck that that hound we'll be dealing with him uh, in the second half of this chapter as far as I know I don't think you can actually destroy that dog uh, when he shows up there he just kinda is there to let you know that you'll be dealing with him uh, towards the end of this chapter but thankfully you know you'll be on the helicopter with the, the turret so you can easily kill him but if you jump off before he shows up uh, you'll have to deal with him face to face and you don't want to do that especially when there's like 10 other guys in the area with him um, you can probably not deal with those two guys. Um, I'm really not sure. Uh, be careful when you fall in here because apparently there's a random guy in this room or in this train car. Because when I went through this area on normal, I don't remember there being a guy in there. So when I dropped in here and I was getting shot at, I was like, what the f- Like, who the fuck is shooting at me? And... I don't know if it was a matter of, for some reason, on normal, like the guy just didn't spawn in or something, or I'm not sure, but. Um, so coming up into this area, this is one of the times where on at the other end of this car uh, there is a super soldier and maybe three or four soldiers on the train car behind him if you drop down this walkway you can get behind them and with a fully charged shot from the LKW on the super soldier you can instantly kill him and then you can basically use 
the doorway of this train car to deal with the other guys inside. Uh, it, I found out about this area, uh, I believe when I went through here on normal, I came through here and I, uh, dropped down from where I had just come up and ran all the way towards the other end of that catwalk I was on. And when I saw where it was on the bridge, I was like, oh, you can drop down and get behind all these guys. So, coming through here on Uber makes that easier than having to go face to face with that super soldier and uh, the guys on the train car. Uh, the other thing you gotta be careful of is what I forgot about is that not one of those turrets on top of the train cars right out here. So, I had actually died here because I forgot about this thing. So, when I was going to climb up on top of the train car I was getting shot and I died and I completely forgot what I didn't know what had killed me so when I was just getting shot there I was like oh shit that's why there's a turret there so I I took damage there when I really shouldn't have but uh, a well placed rocket on the turrets will instantly destroy them so um, and I just kind of came over here to pick up some of his armor that uh, got knocked off but I think that it only ended up being like one piece so it was kind of pointless but at the same time you know any bit of armor that you can get uh, will be very helpful Now this is one of these things I hate that's very video gamey is that when you start this this chapter and you're on the helicopter, Fergus flies right by that train car and points to it. And in normal, you know, like everyday logic, he would just fly like right above the train car and drop you off right there so you can just get in, get the uh the passport or document or whatever it is that we need to get and you'd be instantly out of there but because you know video games he puts you all the way at the other end of the bridge and makes you have to fucking fight your way over to get to there um you know it's just one of those things where it's just like hey it's video games when in normal logic and the other shitty things that he there isn't anyone else on the helicopter, so it's not like they give you um, any air support during any of these firefights. Especially this one coming up here. This this is the firefight that... Um, basically, once we hit the transition to the fight, I don't believe that there's a checkpoint until the end of this video. So, yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of how long this... There's at least, like, three different ways of enemies during this fight on this bridge. Um, and unfortunate, and one of the annoying things is that uh, there's a guy that will jump on a turret uh, when you get about halfway up the bridge or like the pathway on the bridge so if you don't get the cover immediately um, when you get up to I forget how far up you have to go he will annihilate you with that turret so when you come out here you can usually one shot that dude with a fully charged shot but for some reason the game decided Nah, we're not gonna let you get a one shot on him. So, I had to switch to uh, my shotgun and I finished the guy off there. Now, what I'm doing here 
is basically what you're gonna see me do for pretty much the, enti the entire first half of this uh, battle on the bridge. Uh, recharge, aim, take shots, run back, aim, take shots. Mostly because uh, I never had these guys be aggressive enough where they actually came running to where I am. Uh, you do want to be careful because there usually is a rocket guy. Um, I'm not sure if it's in this wave or it's in the second wave. No, actually it's this wave because I can hear the sound of the rockets flying by and I can see the explosions. He, he is the most annoying one um, as I take a hit from him there. Mostly because if you get unlucky enough where as you're going over here, he can probably hit you with a rocket and possibly knock you off this bridge. I'm not 100% positive if he can do that. And I almost found out there because that rocket was about an inch away from meeting me in the face. But, you know, this... Being that these guys aren't aggressive and won't come, you know, right up to where you are, I'm just abusing that recharge station as much as I can. Uh, so, the quicker you can get rid of the, uh, the rocket guy, the better. Uh, the problem with him is that he has a lot of, um, he's almost like, armored up like a juggernaut is um he isn't as yellow as the shotgunners he's more he's kind of like in a white armor suit so he's very easy to to uh see or to know who he is uh once all these guys are dead uh slowly move up here because when you move up to a certain point you then get one of these super soldiers uh up on that upper ledge area you want to very quickly get a charge shot on him he will always <clears throat> he will always fall off that ledge and crash down to the car that's below him uh, but thankfully uh, you can move up to spawn him but you won't spawn in the the next group of guys until you uh, move pretty much to uh, almost to the car that he falls down onto <clears throat> so you have a little bit of time see I'm being, I'm, I'm looking at that turret and I'm trying to spawn him in so I can immediately take him out. Um, unfortunately, I, I think I didn't kill him for some reason. Um, now, I'm kind of in a shitty spot here. Mostly because I'm taking hits and I'm not sure where I'm getting hit from. But I kind of put myself in a, sh in a corner that I really shouldn't have put myself into. I should have immediately ran back to where that re recharge station was and done what I had been doing for the entire first part of this battle on the bridge. <clears throat> but at the same time, being that I have the, the recharge upgrade on this thing, I could just switch over to my other gun, deal with some of these guys. And then just switch back to uh, to the LKW, and I should have like a full charge shot. Um, I think at this point the only guy I have left is uh, the uh, the rocket guy, um, and he actually takes quite a bit of abuse here he he takes quite a few like headshots from this thing before he finally dies uh, as he nearly fucks me there with that rocket um, 
but once uh, once all these guys are dead and you move up to the bridge you'll finally get a checkpoint and I will see you in part two of uh, this chapter.